I'm Joshua Morton, owner of Canine Tactical. This particular scenario is a tactical building search uh, simulating a burglary in progress. And the canine team is, is called to search the building. This also demonstrates a home protection scenario uh, used by a homeowner in a search of his private residence. Enjoy. What I'm doing here is looking through the um, through the window, trying to get as much intel of the building as I can. Release the dog to establish um, a foothold uh, in the building. I'd at least try to go one or one or two rooms. That way, you can get the guys in there, or, uh, get myself in there. Um, but what I notice here, though, um, Eudorus is is skipping that room to the right which is really at the end of the day i believe that the dog necessarily doesn't need to go into the room to uh, to know if there's actually something inside but here what i'm trying to do is just to kind of settle him down so when he leaves the room i off him just to have him just reset 367 20 coverage you do what you can to kind of cover everything uh but with just one person, it's pretty tough to do. Notice I'm not using a, a 30 foot lead, 50 foot lead, um, or 8 foot leash. It's command and control. And we work together. I work off him, and, and he works off me. He's coming out this. Um, this room into the other room and notice that or I notice that he uh, stays in the room so it gives him some time to work and see what he's going to do and right now I notice that he's has a change behavior uh, when he finds it he's he ends up finaling on it um, Depends on what kind of dog you have, whether it's a narc uh, detection or explosive detection. Uh, it's going to be dependent on what you do from there. But here I just uh, I pull him out to me. Um, I don't give him any reward. Uh, no ball. I just, uh, there's a building. The rest of the building needs to be secure. So um, I just note the, the room and we'll go back to it after target secure. Once again, he, he goes in this room to the left. He kind of stays in there for a long time. But I just give him time to work um, whatever it is that he needs to do. He comes out. And we move on. I don't second guess him whatsoever. When he comes out of the room, I, I feel that he's um, secured that room. Although it doesn't mean that it's 100% secure, but I feel confident that he would uh, tell me otherwise. You got a T intersection. He goes right. I notice he he doesn't go too far. He just goes um, that initial uh, initial uh, foothold of the hallway because I go left. Um, I believe that he's working off me, so he doesn't go all the way down there. He's waiting for. Um, direction so I call him back and we move left pregnant pause do the best I can to, to clear the room without entering the room just letting him work try to cover him as well this door here goes external so I just make sure it's locked and move on to the to where we left off. And if you notice, he takes off to the um, down this hallway. He takes off, kind of like where he ended. Um, he started again on the on the third room down on the left. But what I do is I I call him back, and uh, I off him here just to get him the reset. 
Okay, I know he established um, these rooms, but uh, I don't want him to be too far ahead of me. So I just reset him. And it seemed to work. He goes in the room to the left. He goes in the room to the right. Room to the left again. So he's back to his uh, slow, methodical clearance. So we move on. Um, if you notice, he goes to the room to the left right here. I know she's spending a lot of time, so I kind of pull back, seek cover, and just see what he does. Let him give him time to work, not rushing him. He comes out ready to move on, so I just off him at that 90 intersection, uh, so I can check this door out. Uh, usually, I would keep this door open, so that way I know when I come back that uh, it's been cleared. But uh, Cut a camera guy a break. Just reset him. We're at the end of the hallway here. Just off him here. Um, so I can just get a um, good assessment. I don't want him running around if you don't need to. I, re I reset him to kind of set him up to where I'm going to this room here. That way I'm not stepping all over him. Just pregnant pause. Just letting them work. At this time, I, I kind of hear him going down the hallway, but I, I don't know where he's at right now. Um, I Literally, it is completely silent. So that tells me he's on the other end of the building, which I highly doubt, or he's on odor. I just give a pregnant pause. See if I can hear him again, but I can't. So at this time, what I want to do is grab that foothold on the second floor. Um, I'm looking for him as well and uh, covering what I can. I know it's a long hallway down here, so I just take that room to the right. I could have done things a little bit different. Um, I had the right concept here. I, I pull him out because I don't know what room he's in. That's the room. He got a little confused on where he was at. Uh, but notice how I give him a walk with me command or a hooligan. And w really what I should have done was resent him. And uh, we would I would have cleared my way up to him. And at least he would show me. You can tell he's trying to get me to go in that room. He, I know that there's odor in there. Uh, the fact that I'm the one that placed the hide in there. Um, it's kind of a training scar where I should play like I really don't know um, where the height is so and right now it's a little jumbled now because trying to talk to the cameraman and your doors at the same time and I end up confusing all three of us but just bear with me here just showing you where the odor is Reset. So we um, keep going. Off him down here, I notice a closed door. And you notice his head is kind of turning around. Uh, kind of going back and forth. It's kind of, it's giving me the impression that he's could be on to something. Just give him a time to work. You know, as he goes in that room, he comes out, uh, and he instantly turns around and goes back in the other room. He's definitely working odor. He's just trying to narrow it down. I'm going to turn on the turn on the audio here in a second, and then you hear when I'm uh, when I'm about ready to hear as well. So, right now, I don't, I'm don't. i not yelling, good boy, yeah, bruv. I'm not saying anything. I'm just clearing to the dog. 
the dog has him there, so what I do is I try to assess the situation and uh, move him to the black side to see if there's a um, different avenue or approach or an escape um, route the guy could take. I turn off the um, audio here to get the point. So I come back, and, and there's a hundred ways to, uh, to skin a cat, and you know you can keep him the dog there um, covering the suspect or you know and you can clear the rest of the building or uh, do a call out uh, just so many ways to do this but I kind of go in admin mode and uh, um, prep the muzzle and uh, his reward is um, he's gonna get his rocks off on this guy so just resend him and just pretty much reset Like I said, there's many ways to do this, but um, here I just kind of, for sake of training, not bad. Um, and then this is the side of the building that I haven't cleared. Just because you find a suspect doesn't mean that the, the rest of the target's secure. So um, there's more work to be done. It's something to think about. That's it. Thank you.